One day, the Earth's ability to support life as we know it will cease to exist, and our species plus the creatures we share the planet with will all be gone. Hopefully, by this point, humans would have moved on, expanded across the galaxy, and colonised many new planets, ensuring our survival. But what could cause an entire Earth extinction, and how long have we got left? The Earth and the life that it allows to exist has experienced many catastrophic events in the past, from massive volcanic eruptions to huge asteroid impacts. But after 3.5 billion years, life still prevails. It is clearly very hard to completely eradicate all life on Earth as history has shown, and the future of this planet is not safe yet, as Earth will most definitely experience many more apocalyptic style events before its time is up. Scientists predict, for example, that a supervolcano eruption like the one that occurred 250 million years ago during the end of the Permian period could happen again. This life-destroying event wiped out 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. It very nearly caused the ultimate extinction, and this could potentially happen again within the next 100 million years. It is also believed that huge asteroids like the one that obliterated the dinosaurs may strike the Earth every 500 million years or so. However, the Earth has been hit by many other large asteroids in the past and have barely registered as life destroyers. In order for an asteroid to wipe out all life on Earth, it would need to be 60 miles wide according to scientists. A space rock around half a mile wide, for example, can do a lot of damage and cause widespread earthquakes, releasing energy equal to 100 billion tonnes of TNT, but it wouldn't wipe out all life on Earth. But in the vastness of space, asteroids may be the least of Earth's worries, as there is a possibility that we could be obliterated by huge comets that have been pushed out of the Oort cloud by wandering stars. Only 70,000 years ago, a red dwarf called Schultz Star cruised through the outer reaches of the solar system, and terrifyingly, astronomers have identified a potential 14 wandering stars on a collision course with our solar system within the next few million years. For example, the dwarf star HIP 85605 has a 90% chance of crashing into the Oort cloud around 240,000 years from now. But if Earth's resistant life managed to survive all of these dramatic doomsday scenarios, eventually astronomical forces will render the planet uninhabitable. Scientists have calculated that somewhere between 1.75 and 3.25 billion years from now, Earth will travel out of the solar system's habitable zone and into the hot zone. As the sun grows in size, it will become hotter and brighter over time. This increasing heat would slowly evaporate all of Earth's liquid water, and these new conditions would render life on Earth impossible. Our planet is already on the inner edge of the sun's habitable zone, but this area of safety is moving outwards at a rate of about one meter per year. Scientists predict a total habitable zone lifetime for Earth of 6.3 to 7.8 billion years, suggesting that life on this planet is already about 70% of the way through its run. So at some point in the far future, Earth might be presented with a planet-wide doomsday event, and all of Earth's magnificent life may perish as one. However, Earth might have one advantage, and that is human beings. By this stage, we might have the technology to prevent such a cataclysmic event from occurring, saving the planet and everything that exists on its surface. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button if you did and subscribe for much, much more to come. If you want to watch some more, then there's two videos shown on the screen now, or go to my channel where there's loads of different videos on all sorts of different subjects. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.